Welcome back. My name is Jeff Waterberger here with TCG International. Okay, we're going to be talking to a Target employee, but if you look over here at the shelves, they're looking pretty sparse. There's been issues lately regarding sports cards and Pokemon cards. But today, like I mentioned ahead, we are going to be interviewing a actual Target employee to get the scoop, to get the details of all this drama that's been going on that surrounds cards. Oh, here he is. Let's pan over here and let's talk to him, this young man, this nice young man who works for Target. Thanks for joining us today. So tell me, first of all, there's been a rumor that you may have quit Target. Can you confirm or deny? Yeah, yeah, confirm, whatever. Basically, uh, ever since the pandemic started around mid-2020, a bunch of boomers and millennials have been like rushing to Target, getting all the cards. It's been stressful. They, they've, even, they've even tried to start a thing called a virtual line to maintain six feet of distance, that same thing, yada yada, my manager makes me say this. And, um, but recently it's been getting out of hand. You've got too many guys going in at once, blocking the entrance, mm -hmm. each other, hitting each other with baseball bats. You know, like using the plastic kids' toys as weapons. It, it, it's it's been brutal. It's been brutal. So, can you confirm or deny? Have you quit? Or are you still employed for Target? Uh, I I, I quit. Obviously, I mean, it's, it's getting to me, man. You, you can only take one too many bald men asking you to add to get added to a virtual line. You know what I mean? It's just too much. So. You quit, but it looks like you're wearing your Target shirt, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Oh, I only wear this because I have no other clothes at home. Yeah, you know how it is. No, oh. I, oh. I, I, no I wear it because it's, it's glued to my shoulders. Um, I just want to know, I just want to ask you one more time. Did you quit? Are you still working? What's your current status, even though... You may have other desires for other things. Well, I did quit, but a few days after I quit, I got an email from my manager, you know, you know, what like old people use to communicate. And basically, he said that a lot of other employees have been dropping out and that if I rejoined, even though there's, that, even though there's like zero money in like target budget, <laughs> um, he, he said that he'd pay me 25% more if, if I got back in the managing the card line and stuff like that. So, I guess I got my job back. It'll be... Got it. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How long have you been at Target now? Mm, seven years. Okay. So tell me, what has been the craziest thing that you've seen regarding these card collectors? One time, this guy came in. He was kind of like a big guy. And um, he he's a baseball coach and... He had a baseball bat and um, he hit someone on the head, and um, they um, they they actually sued Target and uh, we lost a lot of money. And that was like a big, it was a big deal to our manager. Never never bother a forty year old crying man in his office. You yeah, catch my drift. Got it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now, I know there's been legitimate issues, you know, that Targets have faced, and and I heard recently. They may have decided to stop selling, hence the sparse shelves. Can you give me an update on that? Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's been a lot with all these all these grown men coming to get the cards. So, uh, my manager, he was sick and tired. I'm pretty sure all the employees were sick and tired. So, he cut out the cards, as he told us, and that's why the shelves are so sparse. So, we stopped selling cards, stopped selling Pokemon cards, and... and and that sounds like it would be it, but it's not. A lot of men have still been like protesting, banging on the windows, sneaking in through the vents, getting stuck in the vents because they're too big. I mean, you call the fire department to get them out of the vents because they're stuck because they're too big. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, understandable. So, what is your personal opinion regarding card collectors, or maybe as some people call them, flippers? I don't, I don't care much for them floppers, but I'm personally... Uh, I'm personally satisfied that we're not selling any cards anymore because then I don't have to manage them and I still get paid 25% more even though it's not a whole lot because minimum wage every time. Ah. Stuff like that. And the floppers, like before. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's flippers. 
Yeah, yeah. Flippers. The flippers have been, um, they've been flipping out over these cards. <laughs> um. So, all right, let's switch gears a little bit. What are, what are your, you know, people consider this a hobby, but what are your hobbies? What do you do for fun? You know what I do for fun? No, I don't. That's why I just asked you the question. Squatting the flies in my apartment, scrubbing the mold on the bottom of my kitchen. <laughs> you know what else I do for fun? Uh, what? What? I, I clean up all the gunk out of my dishwasher. I scrub. I, I scrub my moldy, my moldy sink with, mm -hmm. with a tiny sponge. I go through many upon many bills. I, I can't watch TV because I didn't pay the rent. I didn't get enough money to pay the rent. Because I only get paid with a wage. Wage. Okay, okay, you know what, you know what? Calm down. Calm down. Everything's gonna be just fine. Okay, hand me the back of the microphone, please. All right. No, no, no. Just, just hand it back. Thank you. All right. You know what? I want to say thank you. I would just want to give you a little piece of advice. You know, I understand, you know, sometimes it's hard and sometimes you have, you know, people who interrupt you, people who give you frustration, right? Yeah. But you have to be calm. Yeah, definitely. You have to be calm. Okay. And you make sure you treat people fairly. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Okay, guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that interview with the Target employee. And, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to get a little bit of slack on my microphone. Okay, okay, cut, cut. Uh, hey, Steve, man, how many times I gotta tell you, why is my microphone like this, man? Why, why are we even using, I mean, for real, why are we even using a wired microphone? We don't have microphones. We don't have wireless microphones. Huh? Man, I'm docking your pay, man. I'm docking your pay. I ain't even playing around your vacation. Cancel. Jeff, Jeff, we're, uh, we're, we're still on the air. What? We're still rolling. Oh, oh, uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. There was a technical difficulty. Uh, we're going to go in our broadcast now. Thank you, and bye-bye.